We, well, I mean, like I said, Chuck said that these, they haven't been playing much as a team right now, but maybe if they win this, they're going to be moving on, and then that's going to give them the uh, the courage they need. Spud's already been a grenaded back from apartments. He wanted to go for a quick peek down second mid, and it was well worth it because he spotted pretty much everybody from the Planet Key side, and once you get all that information, you know, there's something to work with. Nice shot from Percy to fall back on there. QK Mantis instantly evaporated. Yeah, that's really going to slow them down. And over rotation initially from Dem Guns, I think that they really expected Planiki to fully commit to a YOLO push up onto A. So Chuck took quite a while rotating back to B. But now the defense is just going to be solid. Now that they have the man advantage, they should just be playing cool. Depth walking into um, to a bit of a Glock burst coming out there from, uh, from Flo, which is hard to predict. I mean, he wanted to just get in there and get the one tap with the USPS, but prediction just slightly off. Now, Spuds is in an interesting position. Oh, I think he may have been lagged out, in fact, because he did not move, and even British Counter-Strike players aren't that slow. It's going to be Chuck running into Library, going down to Stavros, leaving Percy in a one-on-four. And yeah, that's very sad, actually. Uh, that's got to be frustrating for, for them guns. But tragically, the, the disconnect happened when the game was already going, so having to restart it, um, unless Planet Key just agreed to it, it's, it's going to be a little bit tricky, and I don't think that's very common for teams to do that. Nice shot from Percy. He seems to be on point right now. Yeah, Percy certainly is putting up a fight. Having hung around uh, B site the entire time, he's netted two kills so far. Headshots both, but it's not going to happen when Felix hunts him down this time around with such low HP. He would have needed to hit another headshot, Anders. That that would have been a bit tough, but it looks like GG is already called. Yeah, it's uh, it's over, and um, you, the the chat, the Twitch chat is cheering for the DDoS, saying we've missed it so much, and uh, we're quite thankful that it's back. So um. I, I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. It's nice to t get a chance to, to fly around the map. Unfortunately, this is one of the maps where we've already covered all the benches that are here. <laughs> so, um, we won't be going to that. We can check if there's a chicken in the fountain, though, because that happens from time to time, but not going to be this time. And in the in the terraced fountain, there, there are no fish nor chicken. There's nothing going on in this fountain at all, which is... Uh, um, one of the reasons why the terrorists, um, you know, attack this, the, 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 ter the CTs anyway. They need those fish and the chickens. Well, that's the thing, right? You know, the CT side, they're going to be better equipped, better prepared, and uh, they do, they have their rations and whatnot, right? Yeah. Whereas T side, clearly, they have to eat some chicken. They get their strength up. You know, they've just collected all the resources they have around them to to go into this assault. Yeah, that's what's at, that's where it's at. So, I mean, I think I don't know. He got disconnected in the worst possible um place there, Spuds, I think it was. So that's just very unfortunate. Um, and losing the pistol round on the CT side, <clears throat> really quite annoying. And this is uh, this is the map that they picked them guns. I mean, not like they don't know how to play in front uh, Dust Two, which is going to be a Planet Keys map choice. But it's it's a you know a little bit frustrating. Yeah, but just a little bit. I mean, that's well. Go ahead. I was going to say apparently it's something you have to just kind of get used to if you're playing online Counter Strike and you don't protect yourselves properly, or if you don't know how to do it, or if you just can't. Like some people just have like. I don't know, geographically they're living in a place where their ISP will only offer you one IP, it's not going to be a dynamic IP, so you can't really change it, and they won't change it, so if your IP's already leaked, then it doesn't really matter how much, how many VPN connections you, you wall yourself behind, they'll always have your IP and they can just use that. No, that's the main issue, you're right. I mean, it happens with um, VP as well. A couple teams out there, they have a little bit of trouble with it. So... That's, that's, I mean, I don't know, that's like podcast material right there, right? But to really get into it, it's, you know, at what point can you go to your internet service provider and say, listen, this is my job. This is how I make my living. You need to help me with this. Well, I'm sure you could do that if you then ordered a business connection, right? Then, they, then they'd then say, oh, well, we're here for you 24-7. You just have to pay for a business connection, which is uh, going to cost you 10 times as much. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I think, that's, I think that's where they draw the line. But I, I mean... I imagine in most places, if you yell loudly enough, they will probably they'll probably do something. Um, yeah, yell at your RSP. That's the that's the lesson here so far. I don't really. I just, it's hard to analyze around like this one because initially uh, it was great. Mantis going down over at the uh, over at Banana, like that's the kind of opening you want as a CT side. Then they lost Depp, I think, at the corner of Arch. 
And from that point out, it's a four on four, and it could it could go either way. Obviously, they were they were going to rush in, and I think they may have one or two people coming out of apps as well. But as soon as Spuds goes down, it becomes a an, an unwinnable situation almost in this A bomb side, unless somebody just lands like two or three straight headshots. Um, so it's it isn't really can't really analyze it from that point on. The round just kind of dies. Pretty much. I mean, especially when you're holding such a key position as short like that, you need to be the man. Basic, like short on Inferno at least is a position you put a player where he is just going to be getting frags. Like the whole point of him being there is he's your fragger. You're going to put him in a place where he's going to be able to just lock down that crossfire uh, situation and also boiler. But, you know, if your player DC is there, it's kind of like the linchpin to holding A sometimes. Yeah. That's a, that's a bit of a problem if you lose that guy. And I guess ultimately we don't really know if it was a, it was a DC. It could have been that Spuds just, I don't know, knocked Coke into his router or something and now it's had a chance to dry up and it's good That's to go again. That's an expensive mistake, huh? It would be. Maybe he had a spare one, you know, just in case. All right. Nice. <laughs> good luck, have fun, it's cold. Well, mostly just have fun and we're good to go some. The second round coming up. Uh, okay, let's get into the thick of it here. Them guns doesn't look like they called for uh, any kind of re. It's just going to be straight into the second round here. Bit of a bit of an investment put in there, but not nothing huge on their part. Yeah, like I said, it's very uncommon for people to restart games because the disconnects are so common that if you if you went down that route, you might never you know get actual an actual game going. JT headshot range with the five seven, a little bit more to come. Stavros goes down, and Planet Key putting only two people up there, and those two people weren't exactly awake when uh, when stuff was going down. I mean, the the flashbang is really good; it's a nice trick coming out from them guns, but it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be that powerful. Yeah, that effective. Talk about a wake-up call here now for Planet Key. Down two guys on Inferno. Only two guys here, however, holding on the A site. So if Planet Key were to be able to pick somebody up, this could be big. Dem got, I mean, JT, he's got that AK. Holding the angle, looking long towards Arch. This could be big. If both Planet Key members come roaring around this corner, they could quickly trade for him. A JT peaks just as QK is checking the corner, which is pretty much perfect timing. That was a free kill. So in terms of a comeback round here after the disconnect... Demgun's doing a really admirable job at the moment. Chuck, got to be a little bit careful in the pit here, only with the pistol, but JT's inside, and he's got that AK. He's going to go down, though. Chuck is still here doing damage onto Asmo, and he's getting stabbed in the back as well. Spuds back from his disconnect and getting that last kill in there. So great round from the British team as we're moving into the third one. Planet Key, just very, very slow, which is sometimes good, and this time it was bad. Yeah, you wonder sometimes. Uh, I think it's just that flash play basically wrecked Planet Key and any momentum they had in the round. After that, Inferno in particular is so tough to get in. When you're two guys down versus somebody who's picked up an AK, that's no fun. And now they're just going to they go for a, basically a, a full-out buy here on Planet Key's side. Pistols, armor, no nades, but it's all going to be about the running gun and the power of the Tech-9. Yeah, I think this is a reasonable idea. I would have I would have called for the same thing here because... It's Inferno. You're going to get up close and personal almost no matter what. So, you know, a couple of Tech 9s. In fact, I'm very sad everyone didn't buy a Tech 9 because that would have been insane. Um, grenade out here from Spuds. Ah, oh, it doesn't do that much damage. Tries to guess an angle through, but not really going to connect with anything. They do hear him and they hear him falling back as well. I think they spotted one guy up in abs. So, I'd say they can they can reasonably guess that there's three people on A right now based on the they've, where they've run into people. Meaning two back at B, unless they, I mean, unless they feel like it's a 4-1 setup, but it's no way it should be. They're going to try and get in close here anyway, and they should be shut down. Power of the AK and everything else here should be enough. Percy trying to do the best he can, and it's really good as well. Gets a quad kill. Stavros now alone. Percy looking for the ace at the moment. Five bullets left. He goes to town on Stavros, but it's not going to be connecting quite. They're still going to win the round pretty easily. Only two kills. I don't think that's enough for the investment that they had here. I think if they'd got the bomb down to, that would have been worth it. Yeah, that could have been something. Anything. Really, the round win is what the Planet Gear were looking for. But economic damage would have counted as well. And that just did not really happen. Just a really solid crossfire setup there by uh, Dev Guns. I mean, Parsi in particular, man, he just obliterated them when they tried to run up that corner. So, another round of pistol coming out here from Planet Key. No surprise there. They invested everything they had in that last round, so they just don't have the money for rifles. And it doesn't look like they're, wast they're wasting any time this time around. Four guys up mid, one guy in apartments, and it's all about pressure. 
Yeah, but the smoke goes off just in time for them to uh, to try and come through here. Spot's already picked up one kill. Depp shooting in the back, and it's going to be up to Flo. Let's try and see if he can get a kill, and he can't. So uh, that's a flawless round coming out. Really important for them guns, because that's going to boost their economy quite a bit. You can see Spot's is already at almost 10,000 here, a little bit over 9,000. So a uh, really good start. CT side, in spite of losing the the follow-up round to the pistol, oh sorry, in spite of uh, losing that pistol round, they uh, mm -hmm. they managed to bring it right back. Yeah, they're doing good work right now. Now's the now's the first uh, real hurdle though. After that pistol round, it's all going to be about shutting down this buy round for Planet Key. Nothing crazy coming out of Planet Key either. No ops, nothing like that. Basically, just full AKs, nades, and a bullet to the face for QK Mantis, who walks right into JT and apartments, and JT even gets out of there in peace. That is a problem for Planicky. It definitely is. I mean, there wasn't even anything tricky going on then. JT just deciding to do it, but he's going to get shot down by Flo, and Flo didn't even take that much damage. And Spuds is also kind of low on health, so they got to be careful right now, Dem Guns, that they don't throw away this really good foundation they've built so far. JT... I mean, he re-peaked up in apartments with the underhand flash throw. That is actually a, a trick that I like to use a lot as well. It's really fun. It's really well, simple. Anyone can do it. Um, and if, you know, he just stayed there maybe a, a second too long. Yeah, that's the issue is that he peaked behind the flash. That's all fine and dandy. But then he stayed there. He could have got out. He could have got out, but instead he committed to the fight. So that's the that's the problem. That's where the problem is. He could have just got the information and got out. They could have maintained the man advantage, them guns. So a bit a bit... Some some overzealous play there from JT ended up costing them guns. It's actually put them behind now because even number and heavy damage taken by his teammates, this is going to be rough to hold here for uh, them guns. Oh, that's a nice entry frag from Star Wars. Going to commit chat to uh, staying over here. Asmo getting the one kill. They got to kill spots fast, but he's not going down. Finally, they get the bomb sign, and the bomb's going to go down with just uh, four seconds after five seconds. But Chuck is in a pretty decent position. I mean, if he can find Star Wars quick, he can turn this into a one on one and maybe asmo oh asmo can land a shot through the halfway fading smoke triple kill here for the uh for the veteran player asmo been playing quite a while now six rounds coming up luckily dem guns had a couple of really good rounds i think the one round where percy got a quad kill they only lost one person and then or two sorry and then they had the flawless round on top so they can definitely buy except spuds no no two people standing in spawn yep why is this this is doesn't this... look too hot. Oh, Percy's back. Percy manages to get a deagle in Kevlar before uh, things go south. Nice shot there by Asmo to open things up on death. But yeah, Spuds, Spuds is AFK right now. It's not looking too good. I'm. I don't know what to say. That's definitely upsetting because um. This is a very important round right now. Yeah. And it's forcing them guys to take risks, like T-Sac here, try or Chuck rather, trying to push out on the cart and top banana. It's forcing them to try and play aggressive and try and catch Planicky off guard, but Planicky are prepared right now. They're just shutting down every push that comes. I mean, yeah, it is highly, it's super unfortunate, and it, it happens just way too much these days, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why Percy was also AFK. Do you think at the very point in time when they realized that Spuds had been disconnected, they, uh, like, he just had, like, a, a minor aneurysm, and I don't know. Possible he was probably just trying to check and make sure. Like what was going on? Maybe checking Mumble, something like that. Then realized, well, there's no backing out now. The the other three teammates have actually bought, so I have to do something here. If for no other reason than to just even the money. Yeah. See if you can't make it work. Uh, based on the money situation on Planet Keep, they could go hunting a little bit here for uh, for JT. I mean, a couple of like everyone pretty much except Felix will be able to rebuy their AK and and grenades when they win this round. So um. It might be worth it for them to look for him. I mean, they, they must know that them guns are pretty much, you know, out of money. JT going to pick off uh, QK. And it's really only Felix that shouldn't be shouldn't be dying in this situation. And he's also not hunting. So that's good stuff. JT goes down. So it, things are even worse now. And you got to wonder what the, what the guns are going to do at this point. Could they bring in a replacement? I mean, that is like a real question, actually, at this point. PC crashed again? So it's not even... He's not even being DDoSed? What? Do we need do we need to start like a fundraiser to get uh to get Spuds a better PC? Because that can't be that's not reasonable, is it? That's a good question. <clears throat> if it's the PC that's going down, then I'm 
what is it like blue screen what's happening hmm. blue screen maybe he's i i used to i my setup it's not anymore especially not when streaming but uh, i used to have a setup where my um my power switch was really really close to my foot and when i was especially like late at night when i was just you know getting tired and I wasn't thinking about what i was doing i would always like I'd always have my foot somewhere near, and sometimes I'd just flick it, and it would uh, turn off the PC and the light in the room and everything else. I'd be like, oh, not again. Just when I was having fun. Yeah, <laughs> so um, maybe maybe it's something like that. Maybe there's a really mundane explanation. Probably Windows, someone saying, hit for help. <laughs> oh. Windows 8, man. Best thing in the world. I was I I mean I know people have had like really different experiences with Windows 8. Windows 8 worked fine for me until they forced update it to Windows 8.1. I kept yep. just postponing it. I just kept saying no, I don't want to update to 8.1. I don't know what it is and I don't, you know, I've I've heard weird things so I'm not going to update it. And that worked fine for like a year and then one day it said, "Oh, you have now 5 days and 5 days will restart your PC and then you will update to 8.1." I was like, "What?" And it yep. did, and actually, it, Windows has been working way worse since 8.1, like, way worse. Um, Dude, I have this, like, grainy bullshit going on with the, with the actual resolution of my screen now because of 8.1. Like, all of, all of my games, all, like, even just regular browser stuff, it all looks grainy. And apparently it's, like, a common 8.1 problem. So I'm just trying to Google around and trying to find, trying to find a solution. I haven't had any luck yet. The weirdest thing happened in my in my eight point one, and and they reintroduced which they hadn't had previously. They reintroduced the idea that they can force updates on you in general, like you you know you can postpone them for like four hours, but then it will just automatically restart your PC, which is nonsense. What if I'm, what if I'm someone who's rendering something in three D Max and it's going to take me seven hours to render, and what am I just going to have to like get screwed in the middle of it and re I, it, I don't understand how it works. I really don't. I have no idea what member of the Windows development team decided that it's a good idea to force people to restart, you know, for an update. Like, this should just be a leave me alone button. I'll install my own update, thanks. Yeah, man, no. Well, I'm, sure all the Linux, I'm sure all the Linux users out there are just like, yeah. Of course, fire. right? Hey, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I was like, one of those guys where my old laptop I needed to be reformatted. I just like reformatted it to Linux, but then the laptop was actually kind of useless because it just wasn't strong enough to do anything. So it's, it's just been sitting on my shelf for like two years, not doing anything. Some guys like yeah. Unix Master Race. So there's like a, a super nerd out there somewhere. Just yeah. Like, no, it's not well, I guess if you if you mean if you buy Unix, you mean like the iOS system because I mean or the uh, well not iOS but the the the, the Mac system because that was actually built on Unix as well, which is. I mean, in ver in some ways, a superior system, but also, in some ways, not. Uh, depends a little bit on what you're looking for. Hmm. Leave me alone, button Windows 8. Yeah, can we tweet at Microsoft or something? Just tell them we we need that. I think uh, he's loading CS. Takes 10 minutes to launch CS. I think we do need to get Spuds a new computer. This is awful. How much can that really, like... Can we sell skins for Spuds or something like that? It's very sad. This is This is the last British hope of Counter-Strike, basically. And one of them is playing on a on a wooden PC. Ah, uh, yeah, man. It's been, uh... Well, that's the problem, you're right. You've already said it. We've talked... We've already talked about the benches on Inferno, on Nuke. We've talked Where... about the, uh, the shop that's in the middle and what kind of fruits and beans they're selling. We've talked about the plants and the trees, um... We've talked about very nearly everything uh, on this map. Probably not, but it's close. I mean, it, I think I've gone through like the most ridiculous wall banks that I that I have come up with, and even some that I haven't come up with. Um, the all the useless ones and and meaningless ones. But so I don't know what's left, man. Inferno has been worn out in terms of uh, DDoS, uh, you know, chatter. It has been worn to a nub in the Inferno of our attention. Oh. Played. I see what you did. I have no idea, dude. Um, yeah, that's that's actually a good question. Actually, I'm gonna go and get the bird's eye view real quick and see if I can't find something to talk about. The bird's eye view. Well, I mean, I'm sad that our that the the victory bells uh, haven't really caught on yet. I mean, we tried to make it a real thing in 2014. I think even in 2013, we tried to make it a real thing, but we should reintroduce that concept. Which is basically whenever you're winning around, you try and shoot at the bells and make them, you know, make them ring out so that the other team knows you've won the round. 
And depending on how brave you feel, you can do it really early in the room. Maybe you get the entry frag and you shoot the bells and like, that's it, we already won. Maybe you do it before you get a kill. You're just like, well, you know, we, you oh. guys are so bad, we've already won. I think them stopping you being able to spam the victory bell is what turned a lot of people off to it. You know, because yeah. now it can only ring like once a second or something, whereas it used to be able to just ring every time it was shot. So you could be really obnoxious with it, which was a lot of fun. Now it's just now you just feel kind of like weak and impotent when you shoot the victory bell. It's just like ding, and then you're like, yeah, okay, cool, one ding. All right, all right then. All right, yeah, maybe that's it. And apparently he is still starting Counter Strike, but it crashed during the start, and now he's uh, now he's starting it again. Is he playing in full screen mode? It's basically a microwave with a screen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Spuds. I, I don't know what to say. I, f I feel more and more sorry for him. Yeah, wooden PC. That's what Spuds is saying as well. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, good luck, have fun. It's been called uh, British Counter-Strike is back on track after just a... A small break here as Spuds took about half an hour to restart his PC, but it's obviously not his fault. And um, the seventh round is coming up now. Planet Key. I mean, at 3-3, three, three, they're going to be happy. And Spuds rejoins and actually evens out his money by going AWP armor. And he still, even after that, has about 4,000. So he's just a lot of money going into this round. Uh, he's yeah, going to miss... Really... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Ooh. They get a kill in return, though. That, I looked like that was going to be a complete failure. Well, that's the thing, though. <sighs> Not a complete failure, but it still is going to mess with Planicky a little bit, because I'm sure that they were running around expecting it to be an eco round, and then all of a sudden, surprise AWP. Like, that's got to be a little frustrating for Planicky, actually. Just a tiny bit. And it's, I mean, it's a risk, yes, but it's not an overwhelming risk, because if it ends up... Uh not paying off if they lose this round and don't get to save the orb. Well, you know, he still has money to buy next round, so they can they can make this work. JT got some really good 5-7 kills in the second round of this game, and this time he's going to have to fall back. Percy goes down this time. He's been so good in this V-bomb site, and JT's been smoked off. Yeah, he's taking his time, man. Really uh, trying to hold the angles, make sure that nobody can push through the smoke, but <laughs> UK Mantis catches him peeking around the edge. Instant punish goes. Headshot there. Def is basically going to have to hold on to this AWP and do the best that he can to save it. And he's already backing off towards the A site, so that's the right call to make. Uh, Chuck, in the meantime, however, has the P250, so he's looking to get an, en an exit frag if he can. Best case scenario. I don't think they're going to be able to find Depp, though. He should be able to stay hidden on that side of the map. The closest person is uh, Felix, unless he sort of just, like, strafes out and headshots the apartments, which is highly unlikely. Um, it's not going to happen. Chuck did take down Asmo, so, I mean... That much is happening, and the orb is going to be just fine. So that's good news. Um, fourth three is not so great for uh, for them guns because it's their map pick. They get to start on the CT side. They didn't win the pistol, but they won the following three rounds and did it pretty convincingly. So they, I think they probably feel a bit robbed right now. They feel like they should be further ahead, and they're not wrong either. No, oh, certainly. I mean, hell, that that important round. I mean, with. Well, with things not going their way at the beginning with Spuds DCing, then just these multiple DCs, it's also going to wreck your momentum on the team. So Planet Key are going to be, I mean, they're going to be paused, but everybody at least is still there. They can still communicate, talk. I mean, it's just going to be frustration on Demgun's side because they could have, right? They could have had this in hand, but it's just Spuds, and that's going to just wreck everything. And Spuds, he unscopes, I think, just as, um, as they came up there because he was sitting there and ready. Uh, for something to happen. So that's got to be really frustrating. Now he's down uh, towards uh, Boiler instead. See if he can pick anyone off. Might be Flo. Or it might be Felix if he's going to keep uh, running around the corner with the AWP. But I'm sort of wondering what kind of setup they're going for here. Dem guns. Because they are they're a little bit too far back in the bomb site for my liking. I wish they'd be closer to Arch. Because it feels like they're a little bit boxed in at this point. Uh, 
Asmo is going to be throwing a grenade. Over. Oh, he wants to do it. So I'm thinking this is a fake because this is one of those grenades you throw if you really were pushing Archway. And they take out Felix with the ult. But yeah, they are running back towards the B bomb site with 25 seconds. Almost uh, Navi-esque timing going on here. Chuck is falling back on the wrong side. In fact, so Percy's going to have to work some of that magic he did earlier. Still 11 bullets left. He picks up the first kill on Star Ross. Goes for more. Gets a quick double. Pistols out. Chuck's shown up to help out. And QK Mantis, well, he's going to get wrecked completely. Percy just... Defending this bomb site really well inside the fountain there. So great uh, round coming out from Dem Guns. They didn't really buy too much into that that smoke fake going on at A, and it's really not such a convincing fake anyway. Not really. Once you start, well, I mean, once you shoot, uh, well, excuse me, Spuds picked up the first guy I think uh, towards Arch, and Spuds just froze again. You've you've got to be joking. Nope, he's just standing there. He Stopped on a dime. I don't know. Yeah, JT trying to push up. I think they know Dem Guns. As soon as this happens, it's it's all about trying to play crazy and win it anyway. And it might be working. JT coming up with the kill now. It's down to Stavros and Felix. They do not have the bomb. It's in the middle, but it's um, technically a two-on-two. -two. And they still have the health advantage. I mean, Dem Guns might actually win this uh, four-on-five start. Yeah, it looks like it, actually. I mean, Stavros and Felix are so low. They are going to be able to get the bomb plant. Likelihood, li like odds of them actually living through this, though, are pretty slim. There's still an HP and a Molotov. JT's got a Molotov, actually, he's gonna force him out. I mean, 5 HP! That's way too low. Oh, good damage being dealt there. Grenade incoming! Stauros gets exploded. Felix hiding behind the pillar, and it's not gonna be easy. JT to pick up a quad kill in a round where one teammate is disconnected, and he's gonna go and defuse that. Oh, and Chuck's like, guess what? <laughs> Well, I'm impressed yeah. they won that. I think I think that's the right call to make. If you wait around and one of your teammates is connected, you're, it's going to be too frustrating. Yeah, just individual play, man. Individual play making up for it there. That's got to be incredibly frustrating. I mean, this is. I mean, it's a valid, valid question right now from Asmo. You know, don't you have someone else? Because at this point, if this, it's not playable. If Spuds is just going to keep DCing like this round after round, so they need like dumb guns need a stand in, in before Rattlesnake joins up. I mean, they need to replace the opera, right? Exactly. That's what it's at. I don't know. There are some. There are some British players out there. They could get in. Like, come on. And and, and someone must be out there. Poles, Red Snake, Rattlesnake, Weber. Even I think he's playing matchmaking right now. I'm sure he'd he'd join up and uh, and have some fun. Why not? I mean, some someone's got to be. Uh, someone's got to be out there for them to pick up. Although I think a large portion of the UK community probably hate the other half of the UK community, so there might be there might be some internal struggles like that. Oh, rattlesnake, yeah, people are people are excited about that prospect. In the meantime, I'm trying to see if I can get a uh, uh, some sort of uh, call from the Evans, but still still nothing yet. I'm guessing eventually, uh, you know, we'll run into some sort of issue with the time. But so far, we're just trying to wait it out and hope that uh, that it won't repeat itself too much. But it's got to be super frustrating. Even as them guns are doing pretty decently, I think that in the back of their minds, they probably feel like, well, we could have been um, like, what a, they could have been like 7-2 or something at this point instead. Um, maybe even more considering the how well they've been playing. So I think it, with that in the back of their minds, that's going to that's gonna drill them in the long run. Hmm. Hashtag postpones is what people are saying. Luckily, I am not in charge of that. I would, I would hate to be a tournament admin. It's too stressful of a job. For that, I think we have um, Alexander over at ESL who does a really fantastic job and is absolutely the right man for the job in in this case. So, um, and ESL also have rules, um, which is cool. So, so I'm sure there's a way out of this. Don't worry. In the meantime, if you have not already, feel free to um, 
to go and check out uh, our Twitter profiles. I think if you type exclamation mark casters in the chat, it'll give you a link to them. Follow us. I, f I for one, I know I'm like less than a thousand now away from the 40,000 mark, guys. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, else, doing that, it's uh, on fire. Anders and Semler is on fire. Semler. And I think our Room on Fire uh, joint uh, account is also in there somewhere, which is strangely like almost at 15,000. I don't know how. But we do appreciate the follows. Um, it helps us, uh, you know, promote our work and, uh, and do more. You cut out there for a minute, Anders. Did I cut out? Yeah. Oh. Why was that? Huh. Hopefully that won't that won't happen again. Uh it's it's is it one of those is it gonna be one of those nights, Semler, where all, all the issues pile up all at once? It wouldn't be wouldn't be surprising. Just a moment, Anders. Fair enough. Yeah, someone's going to be talking to the admins just a quick second, see what's going on, and um, we'll be here hanging out for a moment. I'm going to try and check on some of the shots from the other games to see what's going on, because I think Hellraisers and Virtus Pro were also playing, and Hellraisers did end up winning, actually, even though it was very nearly a sick comeback from VP um, on Dust 2. So we shall find out how that's going to be going on. A lot of really good games tonight, and obviously a lot of drama going on in the North American scene as... Uh, the EXI by Power Team managed to withdraw from the MLG Aspen tournament, which um, I don't know. I think it's it's a very it's a very interesting development. Start money. Yeah, they're joining back up. JT casually insulting his teammates. Very good, very good. We got the right team spirit. Cheat incoming? No. Actually, this isn't even a DDoS. For those of you who are just joining us, what's going on here is that um, Spuds has a computer that is somewhere from the early 1990s and keeps crashing on him. Um, it's now the third time he's crashed. On top of that, it takes him like 10 minutes to actually launch Counter-Strike. And, um, and that's what it is. Hmm... And they're joking around with the starting money in the meantime. UK teams for the win. Yes, James, you're right. It's very upsetting, isn't it? Because we so rarely get to see like a proper... We so rarely get to see a, a, re a UK lineup of any sorts. Um, even more rarely a proper one. Like I said, I, I spoke to Chuck earlier today because he's a really good guy. And um, he said they haven't really been putting that much practice in. But uh, they still seem to be playing pretty well uh, individually. So... So, you know, it's a shame that this is coming between them and potentially a victory on Inferno. Who knows? It's the 10th round coming up. And Spuds has decided to grace us with his presence once again. We'll have to see if they can keep going. If they lose this round, they will be ecoing. So we will Planet Key. So actually a lot rides on this one. Could be the difference between 7-4 uh, in favor of them guns or a 6-5 line in the score line in favor of a Planet Key. Good shot there on Depp to take him down. There was AWP versus... For Mars? No, yeah, versus Galil in the middle, sorry. That's actually pretty impressive. Mantis spraying through JT. Well, they both take a lot of damage, and JT, 10 health, a little bit less than Asmo had then, or QK Mantis had. And they're going to leave Percy over here. And I don't really disagree with this. It seems like Percy's been doing so well that he, he kind of might as well just stay in this bomb site and, and be the sole defender of it. If he can reliably take out two or three people every time they come in, then that's a worthwhile investment for having a better defense over at A. But they are slowly rotating back, which also seems to be the right call as the terrorists are pushing in. Chuck is going to throw out a bit of a quick flash, so he has time to rotate back around. And Planet Key just walking in without a sound, which means Chuck is going to have to fall back. He doesn't realize they're still coming. Percy gets flashed. He's going to go down. So the Guardian of the B bomb side has finally fallen. Bob's bomb is being planted as well, and this is a really tough retake. So tough, I am not even sure. They've really got to think about if this is worth it or not. JT just has to get sneezed on, and he's going to die. And if they lose this rifle, including the AWP, they really can't rebuy. If they get a quick frag here, maybe they can go for a three-on-three -three retake. But if they don't, they should probably fall back and leave it alone here. And that's it. One guy's gone down already. Chuck with a good kill. Goes for another one in the corner here. He's going to find Asmo. Wants to get this defuse in, but it's almost no time. And now there's definitely no time. QK Mantis with a quick double kill to finish it off. 
And that is going to be an eco round coming up from Dem Guns. Planet Key winning a really important round here. And who have we got joining? Does anyone know who Bayef is? Aimbat Bayef? Can someone who's like more into the, the UK scene than I am give me a clue me in here? Is it Batham? Is it. I don't know. Someone help me out, please. Pistols all around, and we'll have to see if the Brits can, can come up with something cool here. Is it Batham? I see Noob is saying it's... Oh, right. A bunch of people are saying it's Batham. Cool. I thought it might have been. Well, he's moving up over at the apartment. It's going to be going down to flow. And that's going to leave Percy in depth left. Covering the A-bomb site. Really, really hard to deal with at this point. Doesn't really matter where Planet Key go. They should be coming out on top. They're not going to run into CZ or... I mean, there's no armor, no, no, not even a flashbang for the flash trick they pulled earlier. They're really keeping it low. I like this jump here from, from J2. This is actually pretty creative. A really nice way of looking through the box. More people should do this. I'm wondering, yeah, he is jumping, so he's avoiding the, uh, the ducking penalty. Yep. Gonna be taking one kill on Asmo, but in the meantime, they lose the A-bomb site quite, uh, convincingly. JT also gonna drop over here to Starburst. Percy. He can get an AK, and that might be the best uh, the best option here. Steal the AK and run away. Bomb has been planted. Percy. Hiding in second mid. I guess maybe, uh, maybe they're going to be looking for him somewhere else, because... They must have realized by now that he took the gun, as they, they sort of do go back and check. But how far away has he run? And they're not looking for him too much, because they don't have that much money either. I mean, if Percy gets a couple of kills in here, that's going to be ugly for Planet Key. There's the first one. Felix going down. They know where he is, but I'm not sure they can catch him any longer. Mantis, the closest guy by, and Percy's not even going to go and challenge. So... Stealing an AK, getting two kills for a pistol round or an eco round like that, definitely worth it. Moving into the 12th round, I think now is where we need to see them guns. Now that Spuds isn't uh, slowing down the pace here, we need we need to see them winning the remainder of these rounds. 9-6 is a good score to aim for if you're on the uh, CT side right now. Chuck, gonna flashbang up. Oh. And they take a quick peek. Percy's here right at the sandbags, but they weren't pushed up far enough. I think they were hoping that there was going to be someone a little bit further back. Follow-up flashbang. And is that going to be it? Chuck's now waiting. He goes down. Now it's Percy's turn. Again, he's the one defending the B-bomb site. And starting off well with a quick shot on Felix. Next in line, Stavros is there. Percy's playing a solid defense over here. Bit of a grenade through, but it feels like Planet Key have had enough of the Danish player and is going to decide to fall back instead. And if they do, they're going to run into three people, more or less. I mean, Depth's a little bit out of the way, but um, he could join them really quickly from CT spawn if so needed. And Batham looked like he was looking into the wall. That makes me really ha unhappy. Hopefully he's not going to be disconnecting either. That would be a tragedy. Good shot from JT from Mars as well, down from the pit, and it's going to be a complete cleanup here. JT did go down, but no bomb plant happening. Planet Key. They don't really have enough to buy all across the board here. Maybe buy some Tech Nines on, on Flow and uh, drop them for your teammates, and that's exactly what he's doing here. So that makes a lot of sense. Tech Nine, such a powerful weapon, he's going to be dropping for about $1,500 worth, and um, they'll be moving on to the 13th round. How are you doing, Samler? Is everything being sorted out? On several fronts, actually. All right. Well, we finally managed to resume the game, so that's good news. Felix going to try and charge through there, and Chuck will take him out. No issue at all. Flow up in the abs, and JT. Once you hear the sound of that Tech-9, you kind of don't want to go for it. You don't want to repeek it. Flash out. But look at that. Flow. Very, very smart. He knew that JT had used that trick once before, so he's waiting for the sound of the flashbang. As soon as he hears it, he's going to peek right behind, and then Tech-9 again. It's such a powerful weapon. Nice done. P 
Percy. Still defending B rather well. Chuck sitting right in front of the line of fire of uh, Star Wars there. That could have been almost a free kill, but it doesn't really matter unless they can get into the A-bomb site. And it's not looking easy. Depp trying to take a fight, but he's not sure if someone's coming up from abs. He's really worried about it. In fact, he's going to get the bomb down anyway. Now Star Wars has just 27 seconds. Going to be coming into the bomb site, but now another member has shown up, which is Chuck. Flashbang out, and Star Wars is going to go down, so... Bit of a shaky moment there, as if Chuck had gone down, that could have been actually quite ugly. But um, they took care of the business in A-bomb site, and we uh, we should be good to go. Hmm. Star Wars picking up an AWP, going to be boosting over the smoke to look into Ward's Banana. See if he's going to be able to get a kill with it here. He spots Percy. That would have been such an opening, especially on Percy, who's been top fragging uh, actually on the server right now with JT closely behind and then Star Wars on the other team. Big opening if that would have happened there. He spots Depp, though, and I'm not sure what Depp was doing. That f smoke, at least from our point of view, maybe it looked different in-game. From our point of view, that definitely didn't cover enough of the middle for him to try and crouch through like that. It can be different in game sometime. Batham going to run into two people up in the apps here, right by each other. He spots one, gets the kill, but an instantly return. Also, Chuck taking down Star Wars, leaving it in a three on three, which is uh, pretty important right now for Dem Guns. They cannot lose this round. It's the 14th one, and they'd have to have a less than perfect buy for the final round, which is never cool. Chuck coming in. JT waiting up on the railing here. He doesn't get a kill just yet, and Chuck has fallen, and JT will fall next. So now Percy, he's been uprooted from the B-bomb side. He's going to have to join them at A to see if he can save them in yet another round. It feels like pretty much every round they've had so far, it's been Percy Percy just uh, le le lending a hand. Going to be walking up behind. He spots out Felix, and an easy headshot leaving Flo in a pretty awkward one-on-two or one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to go down immediately. Not sure why he wanted to peek so soon. I'm even pretty sure he had a cup. Yeah, he had a flashbang. So, I mean, he could have tried to buy a little bit of time and make Percy work for it. But Percy's going to steal the round away. Planet Key only getting the bomb planned out. And that's 8 to 6 now for Dem Guns. From what I can gather, it's looking pretty good for uh, Planet Key, actually. At the end of the day, they've got six rounds on the board. If they can get seven, they'll be just fine here. Dem Guns are the ones who have to, at all costs, lock down this round. Yeah, it's nine rounds used to be like really, really good on, well, not really good, but it, like nine, six used to be a pretty reasonable score on Inferno if you were on the CT side. That was workable, but the game has slowly shifted more and more to become sort of more CT sided across the board. So I think nine rounds could still work, but you want to feel safe. You you do get like 10 or 11 here and, and even then you can never be like 100% sure. JT again with the trick. Let's see. Flo, does he does he still recognize it? He hears the pop, so he definitely knows what's going on. And JT's out of flashbang, so there isn't going to be a, a third time to go for that trick. Uh, or he just man modes it and peeks behind. No problem. I mean, look at this. He's going to go for a smoke. I don't think he went for a shoulder peek, but it was close. <laughs> Almost. And looks like it looks like they want to challenge Percy again, which I have to question the... Uh, the wisdom behind this choice, because he's proven himself to be more than capable of handling uh, these pushes. Only one round where he went down too soon. This time it's going to be another one of them, actually. That might be the big opening here. Molotov rains on through. Chuck's going to get a kill, and it's a two on four. Asmo and QK, they get the bomb down, sure, but it's the last round, so the bomb plant itself won't help them. They need to get in here and actually defend well enough for long enough. And Asmo's playing, looking at the fountain here. Mantis goes down. Asmo with the one, with the double kill. 12 bullets left. He's not going to get a third one. So Dem Guns going to make it 9-6 in the end, Semler. There we have it. Perfectly average scoreline. So this is, uh, I mean, it's definitely too close for comfort for Dem Guns. Because if Planicky win the pistol, they're tied. And Dem Guns are going to be just catching up. It's going to be real ugly. But... Uh... Still a decent uh, scoreline here for the British team, actually, putting up a bit of a fight versus the experienced Hounds on Planet Key. Hey, you're talking about Asmo. The last time I saw Asmo at an event was actually like Asus Summer, Asus ROG Summer. Yes. And he had his head in his hands. It wasn't a very good event for him. 
and he was promptly removed from the team actually after that. Uh, I believe it was Penta at the time. It so was. It's uh, it's interesting to see him back on a team, back on a lineup here with Planet Key. And I'm wondering if that if that time that he took to step away from the game is going to help him. If uh, we're going to see a new Asmo coming into it. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Because he, like, he has been around for a long time in Global Offensive and, and before that as well. So he's a, he's a really well-known face. Just maybe needs the right... Uh, right around a motivation and maybe the right team to play with. Star Wars waiting in the middle here, right at the edge of the smoke, but he shoots a little bit too soon and only gets the one kill. Probably could have been a lot more. Asmo, got to be careful, has to reload right in front of JT and the rest of the team. He goes down when he repeaks, and this is looking really good for Dem Guns. If they can win this pistol round, they might be off to a great start. There's Flo taking off one, and he's also all alone in the pit, and as he's reloading, they should try and just kill him instantly. One on three, this shouldn't be winnable. No, he's pinned down, basically. So, Smoke goes down to block him off to cut those angles up. But two guys are watching that one angle. Bafe, I have no idea why he was so exposed with such low HP. But at least he can count on both of his remaining teammates just staying alive, hiding on the site, and playing this out correctly. Which is, don't face, no need to peek. Just really sit there and wait for this guy to overextend. Yeah, and he only has one clip left. Three bullets, and it's not going to work. Percy... Um, yeah, double kill for him, which is good news, and everyone else helping out a little bit too, so that wasn't just solely his round. But if you look overall, he has had a really big impact. Him and JT just seem to be trying to carry this one through. And Planet Key... I don't know. I'm I'm surprised that Star Wars went for the, for the fire so soon because they hadn't spotted him, but that's a judgment call, and it's hard to make when you're standing next to the smoke like that. So let's see here. Them guns, they got that start that they needed, though, to really have a fighting shot at taking the second half. Wallbanging going into the apartments doesn't actually clip uh, flow. He does manage to dodge it. Uh, them guns, I'm, I'm liking it. Not really rushing into potential crossfire situations up close to the pistols. They really are taking their time and setting it up, fighting at range. Yep. And they've done some damage. They've received a little bit too JT um, taking a fight from, from second mid there. Now they're rushing in towards Archway, and that's definitely being heard right now. Asmo wished they'd come the other way because he has a shotgun waiting for them right now, but it's not going to be the case. Stavros, though, I'm wondering why he's not realizing they could be uh, Archway there, but he isn't. Asmo takes one with the shotgun. Stavros running into JT. That would have been a really important kill. If they could have got that, the bomb plant would have been much harder to get for the terrorist side. And now, I'm not sure, QK, Felix left here, they're being shot through the smoke, they might want to just run away at this point. They don't have a kit, and so much time has passed already, and it was looking great for Planet Key, I think, but um, they couldn't they couldn't find those last shots. Yeah, that's the main issue, right? It's like they start off strong, but then when it comes to crunch time, they just can't quite get it done. So Dem Guns are quickly able to overwhelm them. They live through that round, rocky round that it was, they still hold on to three guns, so it's not going to be the end of, world, of the world for them. Bafe not getting dropped a gun. When two of his teammates have enough to drop him something, so I guess he just wants to go with the Tech 9. He knows it's going to be another round of Eco, so it's no no use taking the risk with the pistols. And they're like, he's just a standing guy, you know, why, why should we spend money on, on him? He's not even on the team. Can't be bothered. Flow goes down, and it's a flawless round. Chuck and uh, Depp coming up with uh, some really good kills. 12 to 6! And now is where Planky kind of have to stand up here. They actually were looking thoroughly unimpressive on the on the T side. I think if it weren't for the disconnect or anything else like that, instead of it being 9-6, we could have seen a 12-3 type scoreline in favor of them guns. So uh, I think now they they got to show us that they have like a really strong CT side here. Otherwise, things are going to get tough, I think, for the German lineup. Oh, yeah, this is all about proving themselves here. Look at how they're playing as well. They really aren't taking any risks with their setup. This is, this is about as standard as could be. Crossfire at mid. Two guys holding firmly on the B site. Nobody pushing down Banana. Really taking their time. The only guy who's really exposed was Flo, but he manages to dodge the bullet and fall back to Balcony. i try and play it safe. Safe as he can. No AWP picked up on anybody just yet. So, for now, it's all about the rifle work. Plenty of smokes uh, on Planet Key. Even at the just near 55 seconds, they still have another two left. And actually using them very quickly here in succession, just as I'm calling it out. So Felix now the only one with a smoke, um, which is not too bad. But it, looked like it's, it looks currently like it's going to be a bit of, a, of an A push. As you can see, they're setting up in second mid, or were at least... So this is typically, you want to stand here if you're throwing smoke towards Archer, even towards Truck, but the fact that they fall away from it means it's a lot more likely it's going to be a B push, and the bomb is also making its way there. So 
Felix, he's already put up his smoke. They're gonna have time getting through. The smoke's gonna fade. But, whoa. Oh. That was one of the sickest sprays from Stavros. Such sick control. And this is gonna be easy cleanup now. Very nicely done. They only lose Felix, but that's fine. He got two kills in the process. But Stavros, that was as clean as it gets, man. M4A1, full spray. And he had to pan like 30 degrees from one target to the other while spraying to pick up that second frag. So that was really nice. Them guns, that's the thing, not checking noob corner. That's exactly where Stavros was hiding. And he just peeks out at the right time and collects two frags. Well, how much more can they get here? I mean, that one round looked convincing, but they're going to have to win another one consecutively right now because there is money on them guns, including the AWP on Chuck, who's making his way up banana. He's not going to find the target quickly. And if Planet Key can string consecutive rounds together right now, force the eco, they might be digging themselves back into the game. And Deb just shooting right through on Star Wars. And this time the smoke looked like it was covering perfect. That was just a nicely timed spray there. JT taking a fight with Flo, but more bit teammates are coming in. And I'm not sure why Flo really wanted to take the fight that much. Now Asmo's in a awful position here. He's all alone. And they can wait. Backup is coming, but it's going to be way too late. Asmo has to do this alone. He gets the one kill in, and Percy will take him down. Felix caught in the middle of everything, and Mantis has to run away. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is a lot has to do with Flo re-peaking there and taking that fight. Peak, 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 peak. Eventually, you're going to get slapped. Yeah. And, I mean, also you have to question what is to be gained by trying to crouch through the smoke in the middle like that. I mean, the, the if you want to get to Boiler, it, can't you just take the other way, the safe way around if you wanted to? Unless you were, like, in a, in a desperate hurry to to get there. So th there are some questionable decisions being made by Planet Key, and they're, they're being punished for it quickly. Oh! No, that, they do. that wasn't even Mantis getting that kill. It was the bomb that took Chuck out, but the Orb is lost, actually, so a bit of a... I mean, an expensive death at the end there for them guns, but it's now back to 13-7, and... Planet Key can only just force up right now. <clears throat> hmm. Kind of wondering what exactly what they can do right now, Planet Key, because this is pretty much a do or die by out of them. Three Famasas, two M4s, like, they have to just lock them guns down. Them guns are also getting way too close for comfort. Only three rounds away. If they put Planet Key in the hole right here, they're on 14 rounds. Planet Key are in a force by situation. And this is looking like a British map. So, pressure is on now for the German team to actually play up the snuff and stop peeking. Stop peeking, set up some really good... Um exchange situation where you can at the very least rely on getting a getting a good exchange in the situation and maybe even if uh, you get a double kill in there you're, you're going to be just fine smoke going off and was that a doubles no it wasn't double smoke sorry mantis still i say is the bomb all the way back at t ramp or in t spawn almost so that means them guns just wasting the first uh, 30 seconds of the round trying to see if they can get an entry frag and i think that's a good idea i mean i like that play from from the terror side here let's see oh nice shot there by Stavros. Oh, but they line up for Asmo, and that could have been a great double kill. Batham just uh, narrowly making it through. Percy coming out of the apartments, and as Batham takes that kill, that means the B-bomb side is very exposed here. Mantis, what are they doing? They're falling back to A. They're really trying to fake them out right now. Batham could be going down. He will be going down. And now it is a 2-1-1 over here. It's a 1-on-1. Asmo spraying full on, and Percy was flashed as well. He couldn't get that kill, and he's going to go down. Asmo getting a quad kill and staying alive, and he probably shouldn't have. I think that flashbang that landed in the middle here, it flashed the terrorist that was coming up uh, middle. It flashed Percy from quad. It flashed Asmo who was in the middle of it, and somehow he just came out on top getting both the kills. But that was very confusing. Well, that's the second least on life for Planet Key, essentially. Now it's all just dem guns. Pistols out, trying to do the best that they can. I'm still trying to look for a way for them to get something done here, actually. Because it's just, right now, they only have pistols. They just It looks like they have two flashes. The bomb is dropped mid, as if they were going to try and slow play this. It's almost one of those rounds where they should just kind of YOLO through, try and get something done, and go. But they the bomb is mid. Even if they were to go through the smoke, what's the point of going through the smoke without the bomb? Yeah, well, I think that question has not been asked so far on them guns side as they try and charge in. It's a triple kill for uh, for Felix and Chuck. I mean, at that little health, even not even the Tech Nine is going to save you. So that's unfortunate. Now thirteen to nine. 
This, these rounds right here, Summer, I'm thinking they should be like the confidence building rounds for Planet Key where they start to to play more like we, we know they kind of can, but they haven't been so far. So, um, I mean, that, that might also be something to consider, but them guns are back on guns. <laughs> yeah. They're locked and loaded. They're going in hot. Where, uh... Where are they going, though? <laughs> well, Chuck is just waiting for Felix. I mean, Planicky, we're going straight to the grave. Flow will take him with him, but then JT comes into it. Good stack by them guns, and they actually come out ahead in that exchange. Stavros somehow wasn't noticed in the middle. What on earth is going on right here? He's going to pick up the AK and roll back a little bit more. He goes for the shot here on Depp, but down the pit, they haven't noticed Mantis yet. He could be coming up with... No, he shoots, and I have no idea why. He could probably have won the round by just staying there because nobody had any clue that he was there. Now it's all on Asmo here in a one-on-one -on -one as he takes down Depp first. Next in line, Batham goes down and Asmo saves it. But I feel like we're still seeing like a string of really weird play from Planet Key 7. I don't know if it's just me, but it, it feels very, very uh, wonky. Yeah, wonky is the right word. Stavros in particular, man. That was, that was something. That jumped down into mid. It's a second mid, just cutting off, uh, cutting off the guy rotating in from B. That was pretty slick, but it, it is that. It's just wonky stuff. This isn't stuff that you can do every round. That will work every round. Nice nade combo down Banana, though, to pick up the first frag, taking out JT. But the bomb is currently making its way towards mid right now, up into the apartments. Percy's got it. Nice nade on to death, though. That's going to ring his bells. Down to 59 HP, but they're going to walk right into the waiting arms of Stavros and Asmo. Yeah, no chance there. Walking into a headshot. A bomb plant right now would be great. A chance for them to actually um, really get back into this game. And, uh, and well, I'd say even close it off. I mean, it's going to be 11 to 13 in favor of them guns. Good shot there from Stavros. And them guns can still easily take this. They've had so many great openings. It feels like they're just on the verge of doing it. And then, yet yeah, they're, they're just falling a little bit short. Just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's also the thing, though. It's so tough for them to get through. One thing we have to remember is that they're playing with the stand-in right now. Spuds isn't here. So that may affect their T-side as well on Inferno, where you do kind of need strats. You do kind of need... It's not like Dust 2, where some yellow plays can really work well. Inferno's a bit of a tougher nut to crack. It should be, but I'm not sure that they really... They, they feel that way. I think they're actually in a position where, where playing without strats is not going to affect them that much. Now, look at this interesting position up here. Asmo and Depth just... Very, very near to each other. If Depp moves forward to check uh, the rest here, he could be going down instantly. And he is going to do just that. He spots the face and Asmo will take him down. And this is a three-man stack up in apartments. So if them guns had gone for abs, they could have lost the round already. This time they only throw one person away and we'll see if they can adjust to the loss. They decide to come back over here, Bay. Look at Bay right now. He's just kind of peeking at mid. Trying to get his eyes there. Nice flash, but nobody peeks in behind it. Playing safe on Planet Key's side. Sick nade, though. 40 damage to the base. That's going to ruin base day. Starus flashing himself out in towards um, Archway. Very common flash now. A flash being thrown by a teammate. So we're seeing different ways. And I think he also got counter flash just as he peeked. Because that flash man behind him wasn't going wasn't gonna to affect him that much. Bit of damage being dealt out. Batham not going to walk into the grenade though. JT with a good opening and they're rushing up behind it. They're speeding right after this. Are they going to look up towards the railing? They won't. Asmo takes one. He sprays and can't connect with the second one. So it is still a two on two and it's going to be a retake here. Dem guns, they got to win this round. Now is the time for it. They've lost the last four in a row. They got to get back in this game. Yeah, and now it gets so much harder now that Chuck has been put in pit. So it's going to be a crossfire set of situation. Percy on the site itself, drawing attention. They're out in the open, but a great 180 shot onto Percy for Felix. That was full MLG. He picks up Felix, or he picks up Chuck at the end. But that was sick. Sick shot there to take out Percy on that site. Oh, all right. Yes, you're right. Full MLG. I love it. It's 13 to 12. And I mean, with the plant, them guns can, uh, can buy, which is, you know, some kind of good news. But that, I think, should have been a, a round one there. Still interested that Planet Key aren't picking up any kind of AWPs here. Uh, that's just not something they feel like doing on the on the CT side, apparently. Yeah. But neither are dumb guns. I guess Spuds was their opera, so he's not... Kind of makes sense on their side. They also maybe be want may want to be just sticking with rifles so they can move quickly, not rely on the AWP to provide entry frags. 
But it's interesting how both teams really just full rifles, no sniper rifles at all. Seems to be, I mean, Planicky have definitely um, established some momentum now. At least towards the end. They, it was looking a little rocky at the beginning of the half, but now it's starting to look pretty good for them. Oh, Depp goes down. Chuck very nearly falling as well. Nice spray from Asmo to drop the bomb, but there's one guy in apartments. That's Percy, and he has been uh, persevering so far. He's now down in the pit. I think he's been spotted as well, but they lose Batham. And now it's just JT and Percy, the two top fraggers. JT goes down. Percy, now is the time to show some magic. A nicely bounced grenade, but he's not covering the bomb. It's a one on three. Planet Key, I have no idea why they're fighting him, but they come out on top. This is one of those plays where I would want them to stay the hell away from the pit. Go and cover the bomb over at quad. It's much, much safer. But they do win it. They steal the rifle. Dem Gun's going to try and buy anyway. I did say persevering. I, I can't help myself, guys. It's 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 like an illness I have. Don't judge me too harshly. Dude, that case hard butterfly looks sick. On Felix. Ooh. And the yeah, AWP. Forward peak. There's you... the AWP. <laughs> they were listening. They were listening in. They were wondering, hey, yeah, it's true. We actually haven't picked up the AWP. Maybe we should try that now. And guess what, Anders? It gives them an entry frag. Yeah, well worth it. So far, Planet Key also with a, quite an uh, outrageous amount of money on at least two of their players. Two of them quite low as well, so I guess on, on average it kind of uh, it isn't that impressive. But they can at least lose around and buy, and that's always nice. Stavros taking a fight grenade in here as well. I'm not sure why he's still fighting, but he's getting the kill and he's gonna die. But Felix to pick up the return and around that's now looking very, very, very bad for uh, the British side. Yeah, because a two-man advantage now for Planet Key. Full gear as well. They're going to catch Def. Looking the wrong way there in Boiler. And that's pretty much Bay now. The stand-in for them guns. He's got the bomb at least. That's He's got that going for him, but he still needs to walk out onto this B site. Two guys are here. So, there's the flash in. And Felix, man, no fear. No fear. Just goes straight running. And jumping. Right through the smoke. I mean, the confidence seems to be to be building back up on Planet Key. Maybe a few disconnects and a few, a few clutch drowns is what they need. Now I do love this similar. This is the this is the Tech Nine or so. Yeah, the the Tech Nine train. I don't think there is any stopping that. I think Dem Guns have actually found the secret to Counter Strike. I've already run the round just buying Tech Nines. You can't lose this, surely. Tech Nines. I yeah. Mean, tech Nines are good. Yeah, okay, okay. Maybe maybe it can happen here, but they've got both players in pit right now for Planet Key. They should be able to weather the storm. And there you go, with that smoke down as well. They're just rushing right into the blender. I mean... Yeah. I don't know. One I still... Time, yo. I still think these Tech Nines should have won. I'm actually... I'm I'm disappointed. The tech Nines are good, but they aren't... Uh, they, yeah. They are versus, uh, versus rifles, though. Versus rifles. Versus everything. Believe I got me. 32 bolts. I just think they're so ina inaccurate. Like, in this, in inaccurate? Inaccurate. You know, it's just, it's very frustrating sometimes to be shooting with the Tech 9 just because you feel like your bullets are just going everywhere. So it really is like the RNG gun. Yes, but if there's five of you and there's that many bullets, even if they go everywhere, some of them will hit similar. It's it's quantity over quality here. You just, just have to shoot a lot and run and shoot preferably, and someone will eventually hit a headshot. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a failure coming out of the apartments, and I think, I mean, you, you did say, in, apart from just rifles, or Tech Nines, which is obviously an unfair matchup for the uh, for the Tech Nines. The fact that they had two in pit, like you said, is that's that's really hard to deal with, no matter what happens. It's like two in pit and a smoke down. Uh, it was just it was just like a build order counter, basically, or a build order loss, if you want to put it that way, right? Because you're running through smoke versus two rifles, and they're both sitting. I mean, at the perfect angle to shoot your face off. Like, it's it's brutal. That's not the best play there for them guns. Especially going in one at a time, right? If they could have pro probably got two guys out at the same time, maybe some magic could have happened. Like there, Def gets the entry frag on Felix, takes him out. Yeah. Oh, Batham is going to fall, though. It's just Depp and Percy left and Percy. Oh, sorry. Depp getting a good shot in there on Asmo. 2 1 3 retake. Could them guns get to overtime? They just need to win two in a row right now, and that's, that is doable. But if they lose this one, we're going to go to Dust 2, which is the map that Planet Key chose as well. 
Depp going down, Percy in the corner gets one, he has to get a lot more here but he's falling low on health, he gets another kill and goes for Mantis and he's going to get dropped and there's enough time for the defuse so GG has been called and it will be Planet Key taking the first map against the, the British counterparts here so uh, that was